up, everyone? Welcome to K-pop Queen for your non-daily reactions to all things K-pop. Okay, I got another girl group uh, album for you right now. I'm about to listen to Love Lucian from Triple S. Okay, I'm excited about this one. You guys have been hyping this album up. Oh my god. I saw it all over my TL. I see it in the comments. You guys want me to react to this and I'm absolutely going to. Triple S is good. They've got a good sound. They've got a really interesting concept. A lot of members still to come, apparently. Um, so we've, we've got a lot to anticipate from them. And I think they've been keeping up. I think they've been doing really, really good. So I'm excited to listen to this EP. It's eight tracks. However, I think we have been cursed with the TikTok challenge. Okay. Every song on here is short, except for Girls Capitalism. That's our longest one, and that's our title. That one's 338. Everything else, I'm looking at a minute. Well, I guess that would be an intro. It's the first song. But a minute 15 at the end? Maybe an outro. Okay. <laughs> no, but no, no, no. But 230, 237, 228? That's not enough. That's not enough, okay? So I can't explain myself out of those ones. But um, let's check out what they got. Our first track on here is some symbols and numbers. <laughs> And hashtag eight five seven six semicolon. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> yeah, we just getting a little taste. It's an intro. Yeah. <laughs> On to the next one. Our uh, title track, Girls Capitalism. Are they on tour? Sorry, I see it on the side. I'm confused. They're coming to Pasadena. La 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 la. What the hell? They'll be in LA on October 14th. <laughs> Had no idea. <laughs> I can really hear the instrument break down very well. Yeah. Love this. Good baseline. Listen, they gave us like 10 reasons to basically act insane. <laughs> 10 reasons to do whatever you want. Thank you. Adam Bauer. Easy to sing along to, easy to have fun with. Like, this is a fun song, you know? Lighthearted. Girls Capitalism, first of all, incredible title. <laughs> you won with that one. Light, refreshing, cute song. All about being a girly. All about living life. What's not to like? What's not to like about this great beat, great melody, good vocals? You know, <laughs> it's great. 
great. It's super refreshing. It's like, it's just, it's a really nice, like, fun song. So I, I really like it. Okay. Next track on here, Complexity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Give me a synthy breakdown. I'm gonna, I'm gonna love it every time. I'm gonna eat it up every time. Yeah. Yeah. segment This is a B-side? <laughs> this is a B-side? Holy shit. Okay. Um, wow. I kind of felt my soul leave my body with that one. Um, <laughs> no, when they sing that, hi up, there's such a weightlessness about it. I feel, I literally feel myself, hi up, and then gravity sets in. Woo! There's so many things going on in different beats different timings and yet it all flows together so well within that chorus yeah i yeah i i <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah uh next track on here black soul dress okay mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Build it up. I think I'm going to, I, I'm, I'm really, I'm really, <laughs> my head's going to explode. slight distortion and then you bring the song up Get up and in my mind. Now I'm just in the 
starts out, the chorus and when it first starts out match. So that's the vibe I was expecting for the entire song. So when I got that really funky verse, the really funky verses, I was very much taken aback. <laughs> I was very much like, whoa, the switch in the vibe. They bring that vibe back for the chorus, right? So there's like a little bit more tension. There's a little bit more like happiness in it. Dial it back for our verses. You know, it's just, it's so interesting to listen to. They sort of do a little beat trip into that second half of the chorus as well, which I really, really enjoyed. I love that. Um, but I have to say the star of the song is the verses. And, you know, I'm a funky girl. You, you know, that's kind of my sound. So that's what I'm going to gravitate towards. But honestly, those verses, perfection. That pre-chorus, great. I love that little distortion that they put on it before they zoom that right back up for the chorus. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Next track on here is Soul Sonia Sound. You guys told me to watch out for this one. I've seen this in all the comments, so let me listen. Okay. Quiet. They but this is about to rupture my eardrum. I, I can feel it. It's gonna rupture my eardrum. too smart <laughs> they, they might be playing too much with their titles um fantastic perfect perfection correct yeah the way that they spun that pre-course into the second chorus <laughs> you're crazy girl you're crazy yeah next track on here speed love oh no that's all right sorry i'm getting ahead of myself next track on here cry baby <laughs> Don't you cry. Don't you cry. Oh. A little, a little rock. I'm getting.
No, it's longer. Just like another cutie little track, cute pop, sort of beachy. I don't know why I get the vibe. We're on the beach. We're on the boardwalk. Okay, something you would hear like on a on a bright summery day. Like that's the vibe. A bright summery, cute pop track. Um, full band. Okay, they really had <laughs> the guitar and the bass, <laughs> the drums. Everyone came into work today. <laughs> but yeah, just a cutie little track. Okay, next track on here is Speed Love. You have purposefully, that's not even what I wanted to say. Wow. You have uh, absolutely. <laughs> what did I want to say? Uh, you've really put speed into a track. That's incredible. That is simply incredible. I heard that piano and I was like, okay, I feel like this would be jazzy, which means that this could go up in a second. Let me listen. Then they layered in that bass and I was like, oh, well, okay. Then you could feel the tension literally rising as the song continues. I'm like, okay, we're really about to blast off. We're blasting off in the speed love, the speed racer, okay? We're blasting. Another like really insanely composed track. Um, another really complex track. Lots of versatility so far. We, we're going to talk about that, but so much versatility. Okay, the last track on here, our outro, number eight.
outro. Um, it actually does not calm me at all. Like I feel like an outro is supposed to. It actually makes me a little tense and kind of wondering what's next. I feel a little bit like I'm getting chased in this. Like I'm not coming down from a high. I'm being chased up to a high and speed love was already had me at that high. Okay. So I really have no way to calm down from this album. Whoa, that was an intense outro. There was a lot of tension in that one as well. And I feel like that's sort of a theme for Triple S with this particular particular album. Tension, complexity, quite a mix of, 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 of music in this, a little, a little grab bag of music, if you will. And yet, I, I don't feel like it doesn't work. Oftentimes, not oftentimes, sometimes you'll hear an album that is really all over the place genre-wise and you're like, what the fuck is going on? Why did we do this? Why did we add these tracks? Whereas with this one, I'm like, no, I actually understand this. I get what we're going for. Both Capitalism and Cry Baby are like our girl group pop tracks. You know, you could hear this from... From other girl groups this is sort of the girl group k-pop sound then we kind of get into speed sound and, and or speed love and complexity and and black soul dress and you're kind of like wait these are like our little more complex heavy produced tracks where we're gonna get great vocals yes but you're really gonna get dynamic sounds you're gonna get dynamic melodies you're gonna get dynamic vocal breakdowns you know and that's not something you really get with every girl group i feel like we're getting that more now that's sort of the turn of what it's coming into but but it's still unique in itself and and i think their sound is also unique now does it sort of remind me of what luna would do for sure yeah but like that doesn't surprise me <laughs> like the same people that were involved with Luna are the same people involved with, with this group. So, you know, it, it, it's not surprising. They can sort of give it to us in any way, and I think they're going to. So I, I'm anticipating what other uh, sounds they're going to give to us next. Um, so, yeah, guys, what did you think about this? Okay, love Lucian from Triple S. Comment below, tweet at me, and I'll be back with another reaction. Bye, guys.